Howdy fellas, we have more Halo 2 anniversary gameplay, new gameplay by the way. If you end up liking the video, then be sure to like this video up if you want more gameplay footage. How's it going, Malta? Stand by. They're left. controller right now. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this level's really, really, really fun on Legendary. It's not too I hard believe at all. it. Uh, <laughs> There's plenty of grenades. Uh, and what, you know, what you're going to see if, uh, I think we have screenshots on IGN uh, now, if, or if not now, very soon. You guys had uh, Blur, one of the really yep. well-regarded re well uh, cinematic studio, redo all of the Halo 2 cinematic so uh awesome. sergeant johnson went from you know he hasn't aged well as far as the <laughs> 2004 engine to now he looks um basically some picture the halo 4 cutscenes, but better effectively right is that fair to say yeah i mean it was it was fantastic i mean halo 2 really i mean there's over like 60 minutes of of cinematics and blur's redoing all of them and what's fun is the cinematics uh also work with that back feature so you can swap instantly between the new cinematics to the old ones while you're watching <laughs> it but the other thing we did with blur which is really interesting is that we um we've created an intro and an outro if you will that's going to kind of start to tease to what we're doing with the next halo in right. terms of storyline and things like that that was a big thing that peach people enjoyed in the first anniversary with the terminals in particular yep. was we started teasing some of the Halo 4 storyline. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that in this game as well. You guys have terminals we and skulls in Halo terminals. 2 now, Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. There's Halo 2 anniversary, we'll get yeah, into it. Yeah, and as it. you can see, I mean, you can swap through these chapters really easily. You can select whatever it is that you wanna play. And um, you, know, you can see over there at, at the top as well the notion of playlists. So the other thing that's mm. a ton of fun about having everything unlocked are just we're going to have these customized playlists taking moments from all of the games and putting those together. So uh, if we want to do, if I want to do all the Warthog missions from all four Halo games right in a row with, with two to four friends, I exactly. can do that? Exactly. You can just go right in it. We're going to have a bunch of different ones. My personal favorite is just literally the grind from like the first mission of the first Halo to the last mission of Halo There better 4. be an you achievement that. for that. Reveal well, that right now. We'll have a little <laughs> something for the people who do that. That's... <laughs> I, I don't think we want to leave that that's, one That's like the endless set list in Rock Band. <laughs> that's basically the Halo equivalent of that. Um, so every, every mission in every game is unlocked from the get-go, right? There's no need to, I don't have to play through all four games absolutely. again, it's just all right here. Yep, completely unlocked. I mean, you absolutely can play through uh, you know, each of them uh, entirely if you want. But you can hop through if you want to skip a mission. You don't want to play the library. You want to, How you know, pop you. past that. You can have, <laughs> I know. Frank always gives me the look when I, I say I that. I gotta ask, uh, guys, what's, you know, so Halo 2 is getting the anniversary treatment, uh, but what about? I mean, Halo 3 is kind of 
caught in the middle, right? It's 2007, uh -huh. early generation 360 game. What What's being done from the visual side on Halo that, 3, if anything at that's all? That's a great question. Halo 3 and Halo 4, uh, they kind of don't need it as much. Yeah. Obviously, they were, they were uh, pretty good-looking games on the last generation system. Um, they both really benefit, though, from going to 1080p, yeah. uh, 60 frames a second. And some of the, some of the changes isn't necessarily just in resolution or, or sort of overall fidelity. Some of the things that we did, especially in Halo 4, there's some detail and data in the, in the graphics that is just showing up now in a way that it wouldn't before. And I, you can think of it kind of like the Blu-ray remaster in some ways. Right, right. And some of that's just a sort of natural uh, evolution of, of just bumping onto that uh, bigger GPU with more RAM and so on. Yeah. But they, they, both, they both look pretty modern. Halo 4 in particular, and I would say this, of course, but it kind of looks almost like an next-gen game just, just running it. Well, it was, all, it was already almost, so beautiful. Yeah, it was crazy yeah. how and it, and good looks, that game looked on 360. It looks better uh, on Xbox well, gulch, One. Hang on high. Significant. There we go. <laughs> Jump into that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, sort of saying, poking around the interface here. Yeah, I think they're, they're just scrolling around the interface. So it's, it's also, there's a key detail. So, Frank, you mentioned the six... Re, uh, sort of reimagined yeah. re Halo 2 multiplayer yeah. maps that are being done in an Xbox One engine. That's that's in addition to they're, yes. they're all there in their original classic Absolutely. form. That this is in addition to and uh, Max Hoberman, the, the original Halo multiplayer 2 multiplayer designer. lead, yeah. who now runs, who started Certain Affinity and has yeah. done a lot of yeah. Halo multiplayer maps for you guys. He is. He is he designed those, right? Yeah. These yeah. new ones? Yeah, I mean really if you want to really think about it, you could say there are five multiplayer maps in this, right? You've got modes. the original one. Yeah. Uh modes, thank you. The original one, the original <laughs> What's two. What happened to hundred? Oh my god. <laughs> the original <laughs> one, two, three, four, and also this this newer one that we've done for these new six reimagined maps. It was really interesting um, with Max, you know, as we said, he was the, the original designer on these yeah. things. When we started working on this and I called him up, he was he was all in. He was just really excited to to be able to do it. Then we sat down with him and just started talking, like, what are things you wanted to do that you couldn't necessarily get done, yeah. either for time, either for technology, things like that. And as you look at these maps today, what are, you know, how would you like to envision these? So it was just a fabulous process working through with Max and the, and the rest of the team over there in, in bringing these maps to life. And we showed you guys Ascension today. Yeah. And uh, we'll be rolling out some of the other maps as we get closer to launch. And uh, let's touch on, so Halo 1, uh, of course, we talked about the multiplayer. The campaign, uh, this it is the anniversary That's edition right. of the Halo One campaign. So with that one, we can. It's, it sounds like it's not. It's not being given maybe the full Halo Two style treatment where it's built for Xbox yeah. One, but it is the switch back and forth between classic and the sort of modern. You know, the the refreshed look we saw a few years ago. Absolutely, yeah. So it's the same one we launched. At, oh, here we go. We're there we in. We're, we're in the Cairo station. Um, 1080p, 60 frames. Uh, so, you know what, I wanted to ask you guys this, I believe you had confirmed this for me earlier, uh, two-player online co-op for the first time in the Halo campaign, correct? Halo 2 campaign? That's right, yeah, we're going to have that for, uh, in particular for 2, 3, and 4. Yep. We're going to have those across the board on those, which is uh, going to be a tremendous amount of fun. Similar for Forge as well. You're going to be able to forge on 2, 3, and 4. Awesome. Forge on 2? That's correct. How is that possible? That's more the magic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw some speculation uh, just before we got here, actually, like people wondering if we were doing Forge for those or not. And yeah, we absolutely are. Yeah, when I met with you guys just a few weeks ago, uh, you weren't, you, you hadn't confirmed it, and I put it in my. There's, a, I have a big, you know, preview piece that breaks down everything on IGN right now. I need to actually go in and update that with some good news. I want to keep you going. Yeah, no. So absolutely. So when, uh, yeah, when we spoke, what was it? Three weeks ago? Yeah, something about that. like that. We were close to locking it, but we weren't 100%, and between now and then, uh, that has locked and confirmed. So, uh, Dan and Frank, I want to have you talk talk us through here uh, what's going on. Well, you're coming up to About the, the visual fidelity and exactly what's yeah, going on under the hood here. Caveat the whole thing, this is obviously work in progress. Sure. This is going to get better and better as we as we keep working through it. And there's definitely, with, with this kind of development, there's a lot of layering that goes in, even more so than, than building a game from scratch. Yeah. And uh, But we're, we're Ooh, pretty happy. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny, they, they, wow. sometimes... Time Crazy. Sometimes the, the change is really jarring and Ooh. frightening, but sometimes it's kind of testament to how well built the game yeah. environment was in the first place. And we, we saw that with the original anniversary. Um, but yeah, and, and the other thing is the switch is instant now. Uh, yeah. Previously, there was 
little bit of lag as you switch between the memory and screen buffers. Uh, and now that switch is 100% uh, instant. You can do it in the middle of a firefight and survive. So are these, uh, are these Elite and Grunt models uh, built off, are these the Halo 4 ones? That Are these are these all new models that, are, that have been done for the enemies? So we grabbed from a number of different games actually to pull them together for this. As you can see, there's a pretty stark difference even between the characters here as you're swapping back and forth. So um, really across, there's no one answer to that. We grabbed across the board and made modifications gotcha. uh, on a case by case. But yeah, you can really tell that. That's what, one of the things we wanted to do, you know, people really enjoyed that swap so much. And we wanted to evolve that as well for Xbox right. One. As Frank alluded to, there was that fade in, fade out on the first one. And we've just got obviously more power to work with now. So a big thing was just to make that swap instantaneous. Uh, Frank, this is something in particular that uh, I've talked to, to you about before. I'm curious, with, with the you know, Halo 2 anniversary in particular, was there ever any consideration or investigation done into uh, the, the infamous E3 2003 <laughs> yeah, we, we single player demo, you know, the game, that, that mission that never yeah, made the game, we, we talked about uh, include, you know, making that playable for this? Yeah, we talked about it. I think the, the, the problem is that it, in a very real sense, it's a completely different engine than all of the other ones. So you'd right. have to bubble off this segment of the engine. The content, and, and Joe is, I believe, at the show, he'll, he'll speak to this as well. The content is all real, and Just it all that, functions, no, right yeah. The, it all functions. The problem is if you, if you deviate from the safe sort of bug. Hey guys, this is Chris, and welcome to the E3 2014 recap and analysis of the Battlefront trailer. Now, the trailer isn't what you would think of it as being. It wasn't just a huge thing of cutscenes and gameplay but most of it was actually just development stuff, but we actually have a lot more than what you would see at the surface, so that's what we're gonna break down. We're gonna bring the news out in this video. So anyways, first we see Hoth, or what looks like Hoth anyways, I believe this is the place that 